Hey guys, Carl here, and words almost can't describe how stoked I am for this Apple product. It's probably the most anticipated thing, solely based off the color. If you're kind of new here to the channel, you know that I have the sickliest addiction to the color orange, and we haven't really seen too many colored Apple products, specifically in the Mac line since the 1990s. I grew up on those old school iMacs, the big hunking things with the tiny little mouses, and now we have the return of some colorways to the iMac line. And as a little refresher, these were announced at Apple's Spring Loaded event, I think a month ago. Seven different colorways, obviously I'm gonna be biased, orange is the best, but there's blue, green, yellow, purple, pink, green, and the last, if you're just a bit plain, the silver. So of course, we're gonna get into the unboxing and I will quickly kind of rotate this around. And maybe I'll talk off camera, you can't see my head because it's floating above a frame. But the thing that a lot of people weren't too happy about was this white bezel. It has shrunk down in size, but I think for the iMac Pro line, that's where we'll get a black bezel, sadly. And the color on the front, that's a bit more muted than, of course, the color which you see on the back. And quickly spinning around, you can see the thin profile of the iMac and of course iMac on the front and that should correspond to what color you get. So I will swing this around. I believe the opening is on this side. This should now just slide down. We've got two little arrows. I'm assuming that means, oh, slide this way. Oh, and this top piece pops off. I'm actually just gonna do it on its side here. This might be a tad bit easier. So we'll remove the iMac. And underneath that, you actually have a corresponding color box to the accessories. Going through all of the accessories that come with it, funnily enough, each of the individual pieces are color matched to the iMac. So Apple will have way more SKUs than normal. They'll have, of course, an orange keyboard to match the orange iMac, blue keyboard if you've got a blue, so on and so forth. The same thing for, say, the cables. And maybe we'll start off with that first. This is the power brick. It's this new braided design, very similar once again to the Pro Display XDR and there's actually a new power outlet or a power cable. This attaches magnetically to the back of the iMac, very reminiscent of MagSafe. So this will kind of come down from your iMac. This little power adapter will live on the floor. And from there, you can plug this extra cable. This one's just the standard power cable. A lot more people are familiar with this into the wall outlet. The second accessory is just a USB-C to lightning cable. So this will be to charge your wireless keyboard. Once again, in the same braided colorway. It'll be interesting for Apple fanboys that are collectors. You'll have to maybe buy seven different colored iMacs if you want these seven different cable colors. I'm not too sure if Apple sells these separately, maybe in the near future, maybe for 30, 40, probably even $50. Who knows what Apple might do, but that's a nice little addition. Next up is the wireless trackpad. And I always grab these when I grab an iMac just for the sole purpose to edit. It just becomes so much easier. I'm so accustomed to that over on my MacBook, MacBook Pro. Once again, the orange color matching to the rest of the keyboard. And I'm assuming that will be the same with the mouse, which that is the case. An orange back mouse. Who would ever thought we'd reach the day? I honestly wouldn't say this is orange. It's more of a salmon-y color, maybe even closer to a bronzish color. The actual orange is peeking behind me there. I'll save the best to last. Designed by California in Apple user manuals. If we can get orange Apple stickers. <sighs> And this is where I'm a bit confused. This looks like a bronze sticker. This to me is an orange. Yes, it matches to the keyboard to everything else, but I think this proves this shouldn't be the orange iMac. It should be the whatever color this is. To me, the rest of the user manuals, this is orange, not this sticker color, minor inconvenience. But anyways, this is the accessories. Last but not least, of course, the keyboard. So you do have three different options this time around. I've got the one with Touch ID. You can also grab that without it or an extension one with a numpad. So once again, lots of accessory options that you can choose from. And of course, these all intermatch and all have that same bronze, orange, Apple will call it color. I did save the best for last. And one thing I will say, just kind of moving this around, this is so incredibly light. Of course, most of the computer is built in.
that is what I'm talking about. This is orange. This is what orange is supposed to look like. I wish this back was found everywhere. And of course, swing it around to the other side, you've just got this giant hello sticker. Hello, 24 inch iMac. I don't know, I'm not <laughs> entirely sure what to say. Yeah, it's dope, we've got a new design iMac. That thing hasn't had a design refresh in six, seven, someone correct me, eight years. It's been long overdue, so yes, we've got decreased bezel sizes, but we still have this really large chin, and it's really weird not to see any Apple product with no Apple logo here. I mean, I'm happy that there isn't, but I wish this chin was almost placed at the bottom here somewhere. I'd rather personally have a full display just like on the Pro Display XDR. I think that's what a monitor or that's what a display should look like. Obviously that's personal preference, but even the material on this, it's a glossy finish. Not too sure if you can hear that, but it is different than the salmon, bronze, whatever we end up deciding to call it on the bottom slash on the back. So it's almost like there's three different colors. Of course, the chin, what you've got on the base, the aluminum, and of course, the favorite color, what you've got on the back. In the end, it is what it is, and color is a very subjective and personal opinion, and I'm sure Apple has spent thousands and thousands of hours on what the best possible color combinations would be. I guess if you had this very vibrant orange color, say, on the front, that might distract you from what's on your screen, maybe? But for me personally, this is not orange, it's salmon, it's off pink, it almost looks like a flesh color. It's a bit feminine, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it almost looks like a makeup color option that my girlfriend would pick. I'm sure Dbrand will come up with some sort of skin that wraps around the front just to hide it if it isn't your taste. Once again, you can always grab the silver if you wanna keep it safe. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. To the rest of the design though, razor, razor thin. Like an Apple computer, everything is built into the back because of that new M1 architecture. They're able to kind of reduce the sizing. You no longer have that bulge that the older iMacs had. On the stand, you've got a very nice and hefty hinge mechanism, but just like the previous gen iMacs, there is no option to raise or lower the display. So if you wanna have this a bit higher, you might have to get some sort of riser. Ports wise, you are very limited. So they removed sadly the SD card slot they remove USB-A, and depending on which model you get, this one specifically, you get the two Thunderbolt ports and two USB-3 ports. For the base model, which I think only comes in the four different colorways, you only have the two Thunderbolt slash USB-4 ports. That particular model starts at $12.99, so you still get the M1 chip, an eight core CPU, seven core GPU with eight gigs of RAM, the mid and high spec model, which is the only tier that you can get the orange colorway, obviously, because orange is a better color. You you get an eight core CPU, eight core GPU, eight gigs of RAM and a 256 SSD and that will run you 1500 bucks. You spec it up to this exact spec. So this has 16 gigs of RAM with a 512 gig SSD. You're looking at 1900 bucks, but my recommended spec is right down the middle. You want the extra USB-C ports. Definitely get these 16 gigs of RAM if you can afford it because from what I can see, you cannot get into the inside. You can no longer upgrade any of your RAM options like you used to on older iMac. Let's get this powered on though. First time using this new little MagSafe connector. I'm gonna call it that. And it snaps right into place, which is nice. And let's see how much force you need. You gotta give it a decent pull. You can see that the actual monitor head is swiveling, but if you do trip over this cable, I'm sure the cable will kind of pull out before the entire computer falls over. So that's really convenient. And once again, it will attach with this contraption here. We do have the power button on the side. And one little thing that I did forget is this little headphone jack on the left hand, I guess your right hand side of the monitor. Setup is always super simple and this is the first time we'll get Touch ID on a wireless keyboard. So it'll be the same as any Touch ID experience. So I'm just gonna quickly set this up. And there you have it. We've got the new 24 inch iMac fully set up. Last time I'm gonna say this, this is orange. On this wallpaper, this is not, once again, very personal preference. And you'll quickly see here the specs of this computer. So of course the 24 inch iMac, just to mention this is a 4.5K display monitor. You've got the M1 chip, 16 gigs of RAM, and this specific one has 512 gigs of storage. So overall, this will have very similar performance to the current MacBook Pro. Of course the MacBook Air as well. All of them share that M1 architecture. So if you want full testing, I can do benchmarks as well, but this is a welcome upgrade to the iMac line, especially from what we 
we've had previously and that M1 architecture I can say is probably the biggest update coming to a Mac line in probably the past decade. The performance on it is so good. Obviously they're very fine tuned to Apple software. So if you use Final Cut, editing 4K, even 8K footage, totally possible on a MacBook Air. But yeah, that's kind of been my very quick unboxing of the new 24 inch iMac. Curious what you guys have to say down below in the comments. Please, please let me know which color option I get. Let me know that I am not going crazy and this is not orange, it's salmon, I said it again. Apple's reasoning and reintroduction of colors is just to show how bold the back is. Even though most of the time I feel that monitors or displays, computers in general, face, back against a wall. Maybe Apple is hinting we all need baller offices with the computer that faces to the doorway and you are in this nice, beautiful executive desk that faces a lovely bookcase. Who knows? Anyways, that has been the orange iMac. I am tracking down or trying to get my hands on every single color option to unbox so I can compare them, show you guys in case you are still confused on which option to get. So if you already haven't, make sure you sub to the channel and smash the like button as it helps me out a ton and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next videos. Peace.